a food bank in East London. One that on the surface looks like any of the thousands running across the UK. But this one is different. It caters solely to people with no recourse to public funds, a visa condition that means they have no access to the welfare state. And absent that safety net, the cost of living crisis looms even larger. Being a mother, I feel very upset uh, because I have to choose from anyone, putting a heating or putting a food in the plate. So I have to put a heating on and compromise the meal. Instead of giving him a three meals a day, we need to compromise for a one snack and a one meal or two meals. CEO Elias tells me the use of his service has more than doubled in the last few months alone. It's heartbreaking. They don't get any help from the government. They're on their own and many of them, they, do, they are working. Many of them have two jobs, but even then they're not able to afford, you know, the do normal day-to-day -day expenses. It's estimated that there are around one and a half million people living in the UK with no recourse to public funds. It means no access to vital benefits like universal credit, child benefit and some cost of living support schemes. In theory, if people face real hardship, there is a mechanism known as a change of conditions application that can allow people to access much needed support. But that process can take time, a luxury that many simply don't have. People like this young mother, who spoke to me only on condition of anonymity. She and her daughter recently became homeless whilst awaiting a change of conditions decision. Her daughter is a British citizen, but as child benefit is claimed by the parent, not the child, she is ineligible. It makes you feel like almost useless, like you can't provide for your child. You, you kind of have nowhere to turn to. You call different organisations for help and it all comes down to you need a change of condition but you can't get the help you need right away and getting a change of condition is not something that happens overnight. One organisation that helps people in similar situations says the system needs to change. The average amount of time the application takes to decide is six weeks which is a huge amount of time for somebody to be waiting but we've seen applications take months and even over a year to decide. It means that people have to go through a very long and gruelling application process before they can access the most basic support. We put some of these concerns to the Home Office. They told us the provision of no recourse to public funds has been upheld by successive governments and maintains that those coming to the UK should do so on a basis that prevents burdens on the taxpayer. So far, the government has resisted calls from charities and from a cross-party committee of MPs for reform. Until those calls are heeded, people with no recourse to public funds will continue to feel left out in the cold. Matthew Thompson, Sky News.